Hello everyone, today I am sharing nine fashion mistakes that you might be making because I make a heck of a lot of fashion mistakes. And honestly, I don't even mind. I kind of feel like that's what makes my channel fun. I just own up to things and then I offer solutions of like, oh, I learned this, you should do this, it's better. Anyway, I'm just gonna get right into the first one. It's something I've touched upon numerous times, but I have like a new solution for it and I'm so excited to share. So it is a handheld professional steamer. First of all, the fashion mistake is wrinkled clothes. I mean, it's something we all struggle with. Uh, and I have said so many times how much I hate ironing my clothes. I can't even remember the last time that I ironed a piece of clothing. And I do have my professional big bulky steamer that's massive and I really like it. However, I've received so many comments from people saying how they just don't have space for that and they wish that they could travel with it. And I've just never been able to recommend a handheld one because they're all terrible. Um, so finally, I found this one. It's by the brand Sloan. I've teamed up with them for this video and I'm just so excited I can finally share it with you and I think it'll help some people. So this is what it looks like. It's so darn nice and high quality. And it let me just show you what it comes with. So it comes with this box, comes with this mitt. I've actually never even used the mitt, but be safe. It comes with this little water cup that you fill up the reservoir with. It also comes with a quick start guide. It's super easy to use, but I feel like this like lays everything out really easily. And then all you do is just plug this in, fill up the, the little reservoir here, and then wait like 25 to 30 seconds. I mean, it's lickety split fast that it warms up. You press this button when it's green and it flies out the seam. I mean like rapid pace. It's very impressive and it just releases the wrinkles and it's just great. And you can use this on pretty much any fabric. Um, I think except leather and suede, but I use this on my silk all the time and it's awesome. It's just like a lifesaver. Uh, but that leads me to number two, the next fashion mistake. And that is wearing old pilled ratty clothing, like mostly sweaters. I feel like that's where I usually see it, but this is a clothing shaver. So this actually comes in handy uh, with solving that problem, but also more than just wardrobe. Like I've used this on other things and I'll tell you about that in a second, but I don't think I mentioned this at the beginning, but I do have a code. I asked them for a code. Um, it's SHAY50 and you'll save $50 on your order. So I'll have them linked down below along with that code. I do not make money from this code, just so you know. These products to me are more pricey than what you would get at like Amazon on or Walmart, but again, they're at kind of like a professional grade and to me, it's worth it. So anyway, this is a clothing shaver and when it comes, um, you do need to charge it. It doesn't take too long, but you just plug it in. So there's no no battery in here, honestly, which is, is nice. Uh, but when it's charged, you just hit the button here at the top and there is a blade system underneath and it does come with an extra blade set. But then you just take it and you gently run it over top your fabric. I would say start with like an old dingy sweater and you're gonna gonna be amazed at how this completely refreshes the sweater to make it look almost brand new. It's honestly kind of magical. But then yesterday, um, before I was filming this video, I had an epiphany on using this on my basement couch that we've had for years because the fabric is old and I noticed some pilling and I took it and it worked. So this actually comes in handy more than I kind of was expecting. Uh, so I just actually keep this right in here and I've been really enjoying it. So I'll have the two products linked down below if you happen to be interested. This next fashion mistake is something I really hear like no one ever talk about and it might not even be a thing. It's just something that I kind of had an epiphany about and it's mixing warm and cool neutrals. So for example, we have two camel beige sweaters. By, the, by itself, you're like, oh, that's a camel beige sweater. Here we are, another camel beige sweater. But when you hold them up side by side, this one's super warm, this one's pretty cold. Uh, so that's where it comes into play when you're mixing and matching. Like say you're wearing boots with this or you wanna add you know, another layer or whatever. If that neutral is cool when you're already wearing warm, that's when something just doesn't look right. I wear a lot of neutrals, um, but there's times where I pair things together and I'm like, why does this not look right together? And then it's because it's warm versus cool and you should try to stay in one family or the other. Speaking of mixing and matching and it just like not working out so well, that leads me to the next mistake, which is wearing denim on denim. And I love a good denim jacket. I recommend them to you guys. Like I, it's kind of like a go-to, but I'm finding more and more that it's just, it just bothers me if the jeans you're wearing on the bottom don't kind of match the top, but yet if they are the same exact tone, then does it look too matchy-matchy? Yet if it mismatched, does that look okay? So I guess I'm here to say, do what you want, but in a way, I just really like denim jackets with other types of pants, like white jeans, perfect 
love it. Maybe with a dress, amazing. Like a different patterned outfit, a skirt, whatever. But like denim on denim, it's just so close to a fashion mistake. You're just teetering on the edge. The next fashion mistake involves socks, which I could honestly stand here all day talking about the different mistakes when it comes to socks, like showing too much sock, um, wearing black socks with white sneakers, wearing patterned socks. But really what I wanted to share is this newest pair of socks that I got that are, oh my gosh, they're amazing. So they are by the brand Peds, but they're not like the typical typical peds that I feel like everyone defaults to. So I even have like another pack of these. I, I do like these, but I feel like they're really tight. They're a little uncomfortable and sometimes they slip off your heel. But these, they almost look like slippers, but they are a sock. They have like this black band here in the back and hopefully you're seeing me wear them. They're just totally different. And I just love the look of no-show socks, but I still feel like I'm wearing socks. So anyway, I'll try to find these and I'll link them below. Okay, so since we're kind of talking about shoes with that last point, I wanted to just segue into this, which involves wearing a mid-length skirt with flat, ankle boots. It doesn't look good. And I know that's hard to hear because I feel like that's just comfortable. It's just comfortable. I'm all about like mixing and matching, wearing what you love, but there's just something about mid-length skirts and flat shoes or flat ankle booties that it just looks really unflattering because the skirt cuts you off right at your, like the biggest part of your, of your lower leg, like your calf. And then you just wear the flat shoe and you don't really get that elevated height to kind of make your legs look longer and it just looks unflattering. So anyway, just wanted to point that out because again, a little light bulb went on in my head and I thought I would share. Okay, we're back to denim. So if you have a pair of jeans or it doesn't even have to be jeans, basically any pair of pants that are supposed to be skinny. So this could work for like yoga pants, leggings, and they're bunching at the bottom. You're just buying the wrong size. It needs to stop at your ankle at the correct length. And to solve this problem, I've mentioned in other videos, but it just fit perfectly in this one. Consider buying petite, even though you might not be a petite person. And again, this is not going to work for everyone, especially if you have like a shorter torso or a longer torso, but it's something you can at least experiment with. And I've started to order petite sizing on five foot five. And that has really helped my jeans actually stop at the correct length around my ankles. So warm summer weather is almost upon us, at least where I live, thank the Lord. So I'm starting to wear shorts again. And so that does lead me to the next fashion mistake, which is wearing really long shirts with your shorts. It can look not good. It can look like you're wearing no pants. So just keep that in mind. So if your shirt is kind of covering the majority of your shorts, I would say just tuck it in a little bit to the side, maybe to the front, maybe the whole way around. If you do not like tucking in your shirt, because a lot of people don't like that, just wear a shorter shirt. It's kind of like simple, but it's more just like, I wanted to visually show you that it can make a big difference. The next mistake is never changing your hairstyle. And honestly, this is something I should probably take into consideration. I mean, I did kind of chop my hair last year. It's since kind of grown back. I do style it in different ways, but if you've had the same hairstyle for decades, you could be kind of wearing that fashion mistake every day because it is kind of the icing on the cake. You could have a beautiful, amazing outfit, but if your hairstyle is completely outdated, it just doesn't match. So just think about that. I'll think about that too. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll have the Sloan steamer and clothing shaver linked down below with my code for $50 off. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a few mistakes and solutions and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.